dust. Dance and stars. First, he made the river in the arc of the great snake tail. When that grew tedious, he turned his attention to the cliffs, the dunes, the depths. Desert Runner stopped. She had never heard Rattlesnake speak before. His voice was a slow, nasty hiss, and that greatly disturbed Desert Runner. Please, Desert Runner, my voice is harsh, and yours is so pretty. You are so fast and so much braver than me. Can you bring me a voice like yours? Desert Runner thought for a moment and then said, I will lend you some of my voice and put it in your tail. That is why the rattlesnake clicks.
carver made by the morning, what takes the cycle's centuries to shape. He bored holes in the red marches and chiseled the spine in the Ulcerund. Echoes rang through the canyons of Menetir. He gouged the hollow lands and then left it barren. Prince of Spring raised his sword toward the breaking dawn, and he called down the glory of the newborn morning. Issa bequeathed to the land the talisman of fate. With its power, the earth rose to defend the birthplace of light, our cradle of summer. So the great cycle swathed own of the Thulian dusk in the arcane veil. And Issa planted the gardens after the storm, and nurtured the court of summer by the ruins of fire.
Finally, the carver rested. He grew a mountain crowned with clouds by the river and leaned against its side to sleep. Ages passed and the sand settled into his work and all the land was still. I'm sorry for the way I left Ironfast. The last time I saw my mother was the day she set off for these ruins. She came here and never returned. I... I thought... maybe... But we must be going. Records speak of a sacred passage that leads to the forge. Lead on, Oathblade.
this. No hope. We've come all this way. For what? You and I are not Eamon. How can we ever hope to pass through that? Yes, but it can't be done. Try for yourself. Ancient magic bars the way. Only those foreseen may enter here. Fate bars this path, and none may alter fate. The wisdom is within you. Look at it, how it shines. This is a weapon of legend. Held in Aegon's hands, it fell Niskaru by the score. But now we have our own legends to make. The Niskaru Lord Kamazondu is imprisoned in Cloudcrest Mountain, in the Hollowlands. As Beeson weaves his spell, something called the Niskaru Lord's Crown will emerge. Are you listening? With the Mystic Hammer, yes. And only the Mystic Hammer. Nothing else will injure these emanations. Cloudcrest Mountain looks over the southern Hollowlands, west of here. I'll meet you there with reinforcements. Don't delay. To the mountain, then. And our final task.
Normally, I'd advise you to take a leap off that ledge, but at the moment, I find myself in need of aid. Don't think you'll get anything out of it, though. I certainly won't teach you anything. Damned kobolds is what. Poison spear to my leg and it's begun to fester. There are things for it, easy to gather myself. If I could walk. Iron fast? What could they possibly... All right, just help me with this leg. Ugh. I'll need spider sack icor, fenrak from the canyon below, and grist from a Jotun's cookpot. Can you get me those? That day, the carver woke to find his touch run dry, the wellspring of his power dead as dust at the source. He heard then the first whisper, the first mention, mortals. the totem. Good. We've made some enemies, so now we must make the feeling mutual. Kill three Jotun chieftains known as the Ragnar's Chosen. Their deaths will enrage the Ragnar like nothing else. After killing each of the Chosen, plant one of these kobold daggers in his chest. That should do the trick. Look! 